title of today's message is Get Out of the Boat. Well, <laughs> that's the text we'll be taking from Matthew, the 14th chapter, verses 22 to 33. But our focus of attention will only be on one verse of scripture today, and that is verse 29. And I'll be reading that from the New International Version. And it reads, Come, he said. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water, and came toward Jesus. Wow. Everyone has storms in their life yes. at one time or another. Now we're talking about spiritual storms. Mm -hmm. The storm is not what's important, it's how we go through the yes. storm yes. that's important. Yes. So the question is, are you looking to Jesus as you're going through the storm, or are you focusing on the storm? Mm -hmm. Well, if you look to Jesus, the storms in your life can show you what God can do and how you can glorify Him in the midst of the storm. Without storms, we can't be complete or mature Christians. And without Jesus, there is no way to survive the storms of life. Welcome to 5 Minutes of Faith brought to you by Believer's Ministry where we're reaching the community with the love of Christ, one person, one family at a time. Join us as we are taking excerpts from our pastor's recent sermon. It's going to be about five minutes. Fighting for their lives on the Sea of Galilee. There they are, out in the middle of the sea, going nowhere. <laughs> Tossed to and fro. Mm -hmm. Jesus could have spoken a word, and all their problems would have been solved. But why didn't he? Because he was testing their faith. And sometimes Jesus chooses to let us strain through the storms in our yeah, lives yeah. to test yeah. our faith. Yeah. So we can see ourselves, yeah. see who or what we are putting our trust in. Mm -hmm. Because it's in the storms of life mm -hmm. that we learn how to trust in Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. But what I'm saying is sometimes we pattern ourselves mm -hmm. after other people and we think we got to pray a certain yeah. way. Yeah. God is looking for a prayer straight from your heart. Yeah. If, you don't, if, if you don't talk like it thou be, don't say it thou be. Yeah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. He's looking for a prayer, a sincere prayer. Yeah. Straight from our heart. Yeah. 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 If you call on God out of a clean heart, you can get to God. Yes, yeah. You can get to God with these three yeah. little words. Lord, save me. Yeah. Yes. So if you're in a storm today, cry out to Jesus mm -hmm. and ask the Lord to save Lord, you and he will save you. Yes. Yes. The Bible says that when Peter saw the wind, he was afraid. Why is it that Peter saw the wind now? Because the wind was Peter kept his eyes on Jesus. Well, he wasn't moved by the stormy wind. He believed he could walk on water and he did. But we know he looked away from Jesus. The moment he got his eyes off Jesus, his, his faith stopped working. Mm -hmm. Peter opened the door of his mind, and that's what it is. Mm -hmm. The battle is in the mind. Now, we say that all the time, and we mentally agree that, but we have to really get to the place where we well, understand that that's where the battle really mm -hmm. is, is in the mind. Yeah. And that's why we have to get our minds renewed to the truth yes. of God's word. Yeah. Glory be to God. So Peter opened the door of his mind to fear, and what happened? He began to sink. Yes. Why? He lost his focus. Mm -hmm. and that's what happens when we get our eyes off Jesus and we focus on the storm. Mm -hmm. When we focus on our circumstances, when we focus on people, mm -hmm. when we focus on conditions, mm -hmm. when we focus on our problems, mm -hmm. instead of Jesus, we will sink. And that could be your problem today. Some of you are sinking in some stuff today. Well, if that's you, it's time to get your eyes off your circumstances, off other people, off your problem, off yourself, amen. and focus on Jesus amen. and his word, yeah. and then cry out to Jesus yes, like Peter Lord. did. Mm -hmm. So we boast in the mighty, massive, powerful name of Jesus. Yes. Glory be to God. Yes. We may yes. not walk on water. But we do walk through some storms. Yes. If we focus on the storms and the difficult circumstances without looking to Jesus for help, we will also sink. Mm -hmm. So the Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians 5, 7 to walk by faith and not by sight. If you have to see the next step before you will move ahead, 
you are trusting your sight mm. instead of your Savior. Mm. When going through your storm, keep your eyes on Jesus yes. and he will take you safely through your storm. Yes, he will. We trust that the word has encouraged you, has impacted your life, and we'd like to extend a cordial invitation to come out and join us in service. Our address is 465 Waterbury Court, Suite E, Gehanna, Ohio, 43230.